Hi, this is Grizz, and I'm just going to show you a quick little tutorial on sort of how to give skin a um, kind of a luminescent glow uh, very easily, very quickly. This is a, a picture I was playing with last night. I was playing with shadows. So this is a actually a raw shot straight out of Second Life um, using a uh, development version of uh, Viewer 2 from Linden. And um, so <laughs> you really have to have a really powerful machine. But I just wanted to show. I'm using this one to show. Um, so I'm going to duplicate this layer right click and go to duplicate and I'm going to go to brightness contrast now this this is sort of the secret to to one of my pictures look the way they do I take brightness up a whole bunch take contrast up a whole bunch and then I kind of bring it down that looks pretty good and I'm going to knock the saturation off just a little bit just so it's not quite so ready. Okay, now I go to blur, go to Gaussian blur, and I'm, I usually put about a blur of about three on it. I may take it a little bit lower than that on this one since it's kind of a, a far off shot. So about a two. Now this, this is sort of where the beauty, the beauty happens. So take this opacity on this new layer I just made down to you know, somewhere about 50% or less. I think actually that's that's about 50. I think it looks pretty good. So let's toggle this so you can see a before and an after. You see the, 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 the way the skin just sort of glows now. And um, so we're going to call this we're going to copy this layer again, copy the bottom layer, the original raw shot, and drag it to the top. And sometimes you just need to bring some other details out, so I'm going to bring this in again, but drop it down to, you know, somewhere around 10% or so, and see if it does anything to help. Not really. Okay, so I don't need that. So, we're going to copy these two layers. I do a lot of duplicating, turn the original two off. I'm going to merge these two and just do a little bit of creative burning and dodging of highlight and shadow. I'm going to put some shadows in here now. Kind of going to darken it up, sort of the side of the face a little bit. A little bit over here, a little bit over there. That's a little bit more than I wanted to do, so let's back it off a little bit on the hip. So let's go back and I'm going to pick a larger brush, slightly larger brush, and take my exposure down about 30 percent. There we go. That's a little softer. And kind of want to shadow this arm back here a little bit. Highlight that there. A little darker there. Now normally I usually kind of um, do a little bit uh, go ahead and do it. Uh, let's go ahead. That looks pretty good. I'm just uh, doing this very quickly here. Let's darken that hand up. So let's go to liquify. And this little crotch area here is completely unacceptable to me. So we're going to hit the, uh, I guess you call it the push tool. And I have a, you know, this is a brush size of 26, but this just sort of, you need to sort of play with it, figure out what, what you want to do. So we're just going to push this leg out. And you have to be very careful when you're using this tool. I mean, you, you can hit cancel and and undo it. But we're just trying to get a natural looking uh, sort of transition on the leg here. 
I think I'm going to push it just a little bit more because his legs are a little bit bigger at the top. And I'm going to change my size down. A little smaller. So, just trying to smooth these edges down. And now I'm going to take the brush up a little bit. Not that big. And just kind of edge it to get. I think that looks pretty good. Um, sometimes I will bounce this a little bit on edges that are already nice if they look a little jaggy to kind of define them a little bit. Or, like down here, I'll kind of bounce it the other way to soften an edge that looks a little jaggy. So, so there we have that. Now, if you want to compare, um, this is before. And that's an after. This is a before, and that's an after. That's with the shadows and the the shadows in the uh, liquify. And this is my personal little tip. I now take copy and, and uh, I can duplicate, but I, I also like to copy paste. And I'm going to do a, another Gaussian blur after making a copy of my good one. Let's see, let's do Gaussian Blur. I'm going to take it to about a 3. And I'm going to drop this back a little bit. So I have a little bit of opacity. And, well, I'll leave it like this. And then, so there's my brush. I want a little bit of a bigger of, a, of our eraser. And I'm just going to do a straight swipe down the front. It gives you a little bit of a of a nice uh, clarity, kind of keeping the subject in focus, but kind of softening up the background. The other thing you can do is duplicate this one. And you see I've cut out the girl. I've cut up almost all of the girl. Is uh, going to do another Gaussian. This time with an even bigger um, blur. And we're going to brush it back with a bigger brush. So we'll take it up to probably, mm, let's say 600 and brush it back like this and then so now the um, the transition now kind of um, fuzzes out at the edges so the focus very it's very clearly on the person now at the background I'm going to drop another layer in and I'm going to fill this with black this is my personal little I like to do little vignetting um, I'm going to fill it with black and I like to drop the opacity at just a little bit so I can see what I'm aiming for. And I'm going to pick a different size brush. Probably somewhere around 300 probably be good. And I will kind of, you hit the dot and you, then you hold shift down. And then you hold shift, keep holding shift down and you just click around and then you brush out the center to make sure it's all nice and clear now so I have that and I forgot I have a little bit more down here at the bottom so I forgot I had a little bit more at the bottom that we couldn't see but that's fine because I actually kind of like it like that and I can raise the opacity up and sort of see where I kind of want this so I think that's pretty good. Actually, the next thing I will probably do is take my dodge tool again 
and I'm going to get in close here. The problem with this technique is that eyes will kind of go gray on you, so I usually will go back in with a pretty small brush, it's probably about right, and just get it over the whites of the eyes and give it a couple pumps to brighten up the eyes again. And sometimes I will uh, accentuate that shadow there. And let's see, just for the sheer fact of s speed, I want to f f that little line on the nose needs a little bit of def a little bit of undefinition, I guess I could say. So I'm just gonna bump that a couple times with the blur tool. And the same with the smaller one. I'm going to just bump the edge here a little bit underneath the nose so it doesn't look quite so hard to the eye. And maybe a couple little bumps in the lips. Um, I want to take Liquify again real quick because I forgot about this wrist being a little... I like to fix that. So let's uh, go up a hair and just bump that wrist in so it's not so pointy. Let's take a look at it up close, make sure it looks okay. It looks pretty good. So now, here is the final picture. Let me uh, view fit on screen. So here is the final picture. And let me uh, put these all into a group. So we can do a single toggle. So here's after and before and after and before and after.